Today we are going to see how we can use the SQL Server spatial functions to calculate the distance between two points on Earth based on their latitude and longitude coordinate values. So let's take the example of calculating the distance between two cities like London and Delhi. So first of all, we are going to declare two variables and these variables are going to be of the type geography, which is a data type in SQL Server that can be used to store these positions, the GPS positions. So I'm going to declare the two variables called London and Delhi. So Both of them are going to be of the data type geography. The next step is to define the latitude and longitude coordinates. So you can just go on Google and you can find out the latitude and longitude values. So for example, for London, these are the values. So these are the values I'm going to define in my SQL. So let's just start setting the value for London. And we have the longitude and the longitude, so I'm just going to use a function which is called the point function, wherein you can define these latitude and longitude coordinates. So when you define the coordinates in the point function, we first need to define the longitude value, so it is 0 0.1276 and the latitude is 51.5072. Now this for SQL Server is in the form of some textual representation. So we need to convert it into the type of geometry. So to do that, we need to use another function called stgeom from text. And the arguments that you need to pass to this is first of all, this well-known text representation the geospatial representation. And then you need to pass another parameter called the SRID. And SRID is the Spatial Reference System ID. These are like different standards for representing the global, the geospatial positions. So one of the most common ones that is used for the global positioning system is a standard WSG84. And it has a code that we're going to provide here. So the number for this is 4326. And to this we just do a geography double colons. This is to convert it into a geography instance. So now we are set with the value for London. In the same way, we are going to declare these values for Delhi. So I already have the values for Delhi. This is the longitude and this is the latitude over here. Now to find out the distance between these two locations, these two geography instances, we need to use another function, st distance. So the way we use that function is we provide the geography point of one instance. So here, let's say, let's provide the point as at London, then a dot, then we use the function st distance, and then within brackets, we provide the other point. So this is going to be at Delhi. And now we execute this whole code you will see that we get an error message. And why has this error message appeared? It is because if you take a closer look here, here in the first instance, we have used a comma. In the other instance, we just have separated the values by a space. So the comma is not needed here. This right syntax is to separate the values by a space. Now I'm going to execute the query again, and you will see that this is the distance between Delhi and London. Now going back to Google, if you search the distance between London and Delhi in kilometer, you will see that it is 6693 kilometers. And if we go back to a SQL server, the distance is 6692144. So it is approximately the same. This distance that we've got over here is in meters. So if you convert it to kilometers, it is going to be 6692.144 and so on. So it is almost the same distance that we've got as we see it on Google. So you can use these geography instances to calculate the distance between two cities if you have the latitude and longitude coordinates for those cities. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.